Hey everybody, thanks for coming back and joining me this week for another walk in the woods. Hey man, this week I'm telling you, got a little thing going on. Uh, I've been working with the Sunday School class. We've been talking about the book of Daniel. And last week we were talking about Daniel's prayer of Thanksgiving. So it's kind of been on my mind. And let me tell you what we talked about. You ever been to a waterfall? You ever, you ever seen a waterfall anywhere where you just stand there and watch millions of gallons pour over from the top coming down to the bottom? And if you stand there and just think about how much water is coming over the top, and as you start watching, you'll see mist, mist from the waterfall coming and, and rising back up. Kind of gets us to thinking about prayers. You know, the Lord blesses us. He just pours millions and millions of gallons of blessings upon us. And the mist is what we're sending back up. You know, the Lord does so much for us. And how much time do we really take to sit down and thank him for his blessings upon us. So that's what I want to talk to you about this week. When it comes to prayers and the blessings that's been poured on you, how much thanksgiving are you sending back up to God? Okay, let me set the stage for you. In Daniel chapter 2, King Nebuchadnezzar's had this dream. And he can't figure out what the interpretation of it means. So of course he asked for his closest advisors to figure out, hey, help me determine what I'm dreaming and what it means. And of course, nobody can do that. But Daniel and his friends get together and they pray. They pray that God would give them the wisdom to understand this dream so that they can relate the meaning of it to King Nebuchadnezzar. Well, as they pray, God gives them the wisdom. And this is how Daniel responded to his answered prayer. And I'm going to read real quick his prayer of thanksgiving. And it starts here in chapter 2, right here at about verse 20. He says, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for his wisdom and might are his. And he changes the time and the season. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have given me wisdom and might and have made known to me what we asked for. For you have made known to us the king's demand. You know, Daniel recognized that if he went and he prayed and he had faith, that God would answer him. And when he did, he didn't neglect it. He went back and he thanked God and he, he just praises God with his prayer of thanksgiving for answering his prayers. You know, a lot of times we we ask for prayer and we pray for each other and we pray to God. How many times do we go back and we really take the time to thank God for those answered prayers? Now I know what some of you are thinking. It's really, really easy to, to pray and thank God for answered prayers. But what about when you pray and it doesn't seem those prayers are being answered? Uh, then what do we do? You know, there's going to be times where you're going to pray and you're going to ask God for something and you're going to present your request to Him and it's going to feel like the answer is not coming. So how do we handle that situation? Well, first thing you need to understand is most of the time we're focused right here. We're focused right here in front of us. This is the angle that we see. This is what's before us. This is what we're praying and asking help for. But you got to understand God not only sees this, he sees this and this and this and this. God sees it from all different angles. So sometimes his answer may not be what we want. His answer may be what's best for us because God can see of all angles. And since God is true in his wisdom and his justice, God provides for us exactly what we need and not so much what we want. You know, because God can see all angles and because His will is best in our life, then that alone is enough to thank Him. When, even when we don't understand the situation, we still want to offer that prayer of thanksgiving just because God is who He is and He still works His will in our life, even if we don't understand at the time what His will is. So I'm going to read you something here out of Proverbs chapter 3, starting here at verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. 
and always acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Sometimes we just want to pray and thank God for who He is, thanking Him for His will in our life, even if it seems like our prayers at the time are unanswered. Because if nothing else, God is God just because He is the author of justice and wisdom. God bless you this coming week, and don't forget to thank God for what He's, thank God for what he's done in your life.